Hi guys, so today in this very exciting video, I'm going to be showing you guys the Munch Pack unboxing original box and it comes with 10 plus items and I believe I got 10 items. Um, I haven't actually counted yet, but I'm so excited. I've actually held myself from eating these snacks from the past couple of days. It was so hard, let me tell you, but let's dig in the actual box. This is what it looks like. So it was packed by Roxanne. She's made the box. Thank you. Let me show you what it looks like when inside the box. I have a bunch of goodies here. Okay, I kind of took a peek the other day and I thought like this sounds kind of gross, but I don't know. I'm kind of hungry, so maybe we'll we'll see how what I think about it right now because uh, it looks pretty good. Beer battered onion rings, yeah. But what else is inside? Yummy. So this is pasta bow ties, baked puffed snack smooth cheddar, and it's only 120 calories per serving. This is what it looks like. A subscription box in which you receive new popular items from around the world that are randomly picked to send out to you and they have a mini pack which is five to six items they have an original which is 10 plus and then the family pack which is 20 plus which is pretty awesome you can get to choose um and if you really like a certain item you can actually purchase that individually and actually there's an app where you can actually scan something let me show you i think it's pretty freaking cool if you like it you can actually um, save it for later into your um, into your favorites. So let's show you. This is what the scan the scanner looks like. Fry the bow ties. Okay, so that's what it looks like once I've scanned it. That's pretty cool, and it tells you it's three dollars. You could add to cart. You can save it into your favorites. And um, when you really read into it, it tells you more of the information, where it's been made, and, and all that good stuff. Mm, I love cheddar. I love crackers. Let's try it. Oh my god, it's like, it's like hollow inside. It's like air. Really good. Mm, really good. And it's really light too. I could see myself eating this in like two seconds, which I shouldn't do. I need to contain myself from eating this entire box and save some for my husband, of course. He'll probably get mad if I eat this all. <laughs> Next, we have the beer battered onion rings that I was kind of intrigued by. Nathan's flavored beer battered onion rings. It's pretty cool. It says, in 1916, two young Polish immigrants named Nathan and Ida Handwerker put down their $300 life savings to open a frankfurter and french fry stand on Coney Island, New York. They called it Nathan's Famous. Interesting. Oh, they look like onions. It's like super cool. Mm. Okay, I don't know if it's because I'm like really hungry right now. It's really freaking good. I like it. It's like, it tastes just like onion rings, but it's just more crunchy and airy. If that makes sense? Next, we have the Oringo. Sorry if I'm butchering that. This is made in China. Cute little... Asian snack. It's got this little cartoon playing a saxophone. Is that a saxophone? Let's try those apples. So good. So good. Chewy. Not too chewy. Perfect. I really like that. Yummy. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. Lops lollipops. It's a 
kind of looks like. It's really weird. It's flimsy. And there's a few in here. There's ten pieces. And look at it. It's so thin. It's like paper thin. I'm scared to touch this because it's like it's like it's really sticky. Oh, well, not really. It's just. Mmm. Mm, it's really good. It's like melting in my mouth. I'm kind of chewy and sugary. It's really good. I'll get back to you later. Ooh. Now this looks familiar from my childhood. Chocolate. Chocolate loonies. I think. Brand is Zazers, Gouts. Oh, fruity toffee coins. Okay, I thought that was chocolate. It reminds me of the chocolate coins. I don't know if you guys know that. That. It's like white. I don't know if all of them are white or like different colors, but I don't know if you can see, but there's the name imprinted in there. Gouts. Let's try this. Really good. Again, I don't know if it's because I'm hungry and I'm eating all this on empty stomach, which I shouldn't, but that was super good. It reminds me of something too. Like airheads or something. Strawberry yogurt jelly. Well see, I like that the packaging has a ziplock. I appreciate that. Let's try this. Mmm. That's really good. What does it remind me of? Just like the strawberry beans that you find at your local convenience store. It reminds me of, but they're super, super good. I taste a little bit of the yogurt in it. Pop cake with lemon. What it looks like. Try this. Ooh. That looks really good. Mm. This is really good. I don't know which one's my favorite out of this box. Yeah, I can't stop eating it. <laughs> That's good. I'm going back to that too. I'm probably going to go back to all these items. Today. Oh, before I show you, and before I open it, Cream's Gold Pineapple. My husband and I were looking at this yesterday, we were like, ooh, I like the idea. I tried hundreds of these before, but not pineapple flavor, and not this brand, just like the same idea, like vanilla or chocolate. Let's try this. Mmm. This is so good. I really enjoyed eating that. <laughs> oh, I'm such a geek. This is it. it looks like a maze or something. Like cho I don't even know. Chocolate? I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> Yeah, it's chocolate. It looks like chocolate cereal. You can see that? Crunchy. Yeah. It tastes like chocolate cereal. Like, um, Cocoa Puffs. That's exactly what it tastes like. Cocoa Puffs. That's good. Warheads. Warheads. Ooh, I loved Warheads growing up. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys know, they, there was like a strip of um, like those candy Warheads and different flavors. And I used to go through a whole strip in one day. And they're like individual packs in one strip. Oh. Bringing back childhood memories. This strip. Oh, this one's pineapple. Orange pineapple. Let's try it. Since I already tried a pineapple flavor. 
Let's try the mango melon. Ooh. This is what it looks like. It's hard candy. Yep. And they weren't joking about the sour the sourness. <laughs> and we have potato crackers in barbecue flavor. It's called cha cha. I like barbecue flavor. That's what the cracker looks like. Mmm. Mmm. It's thin and crispy, like so good. This box has really done good. Really done good. Um, it has not disappointed me at all. But I still haven't tried this yet. I'm probably going to try it. I don't know. I'll try it some point this week and I'll let you guys know in, down below in the description. But that's what it looks like. It's um, artisan roasted coffee, boca java, German chocolate cake. So I am excited to try this. I do love coffee. So the idea that it's chocolate flavor is not too bad. Well, that is it, guys. That concludes the video. And if you guys like these kind of videos, please like, thumbs up down below, and leave a comment. Um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.